hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Rat exit campers is his name. Like, I'll show this guy how to fucking exit camp. He doesn't know what he's doing. Jesus. Hello? Alright. At first, I tried to make a distinction between the slow and steady and uh, the <laughs> pre ejaculators. And then after that video came out, I saw all these people trying to draw an ethical line in the sand. Uh, and they, were, they would say things like, Oh, no, 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 I'm a rat. You know, I'm slow and steady. But uh, I would never exit camp. I'm above exit camping. First of all, a true rat has no ethics. Second of all, what, like you're supposed to play and, and, uh, and watch your back, you know? When you're playing, you're supposed to expect that death could come at any second. But as soon as you get to the exit, Oh no, that's hallowed ground. You can't kill there. You guys playing like your old British lords. Nay, lift your visor, good sir. They shan't dare shoot us here. They haven't the gall. <laughs> Until your fat ass leaves the raid, you're fair game. Across the board. It ain't my fault if you fail to check a corner. The subreddit. Slam packed with people complaining about exit campers. Even Pestily hates them. Like, the way I look at exit camping is they probably weren't loved by their parents growing up and they just need a way to take it out on people. If you could find it. waiting for someone to walk past. Why play the game and have fun when you can play the game, have fun, and piss somebody else off? It's a win-win. So today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to exit camp. But first, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Now, frankly, guys, I know this is a, a, a lewd topic, and I don't mean to get, uh, uh, I don't mean to gross you guys out because you're here, you're probably watching this right after Sunday school with the family. Grandma's sitting down to watch too. But let's be honest, we're smack dab in the middle of a quarantine. Gone are the days of going down to your barber shop and getting a perfect shave on your balls. You're gonna have to do it yourself. And this is the path forward. It's called the Lawnmower 3.0. Cordless, rechargeable, waterproof. TSA approved, you can bring it when you travel. Perfect for all those hard to reach places. 90 minutes of battery life, 7,000 RPM motor, USB rechargeable. I think you guys can tell looking at me that I'm not like a manly man. You know, I'm not the kind of guy that goes out and works on his car in the driveway every weekend. You know, I don't know what tools do what, but I can assure you uh, uh, this is a much safer option than taking a bare razor to your testicles. This has a guard on it and a safety light so you can see down there, you know? When these guys came forward and said, Sam, would you be willing to show off our product? I said, by God, that's the most, uh, that's one of the most important products I've ever seen. But is it too lewd? I didn't want to go there with my viewers. I didn't want them to know that I was thinking about their testicles. Well, let me be clear. I am thinking about your testicles. Me and Manscaped are thinking about your testicles every night of the week. And frankly, I won't stop thinking about them until every pair of testicles in this audience is cleanly shaved and nick free. So if you're looking at taking your testicle game up to the next level, hit the link in the description and use code GENERAL20 to get 20% off of this nice little lawnmower 3.0. Now back to being a scumbag. Now there's a bunch of classic spots I'm not gonna be covering in detail, but for the sake of taking a dump in the uh, Tarkov community's collective cereal bowl, I'll uh, show them to you real quick. Gotta cover my bases, you know? Oh, this one's a classic. You got the awning on uh, interchange. Yeah, 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 just hop up there like so. Uh, make sure to bring a CMS kit in case you don't make the jump. It happens. Uh, then uh, the rest is easy. You just lay up there and snipe. All right. Oh, this one. This one's a classic, dude. This is manhole extract on reserve. Oh, I did a vid on this one before. You, uh, you can throw a bag down, you know, to sweeten the deal if you want. God. Gotta love that manhole, though. So accommodating. You know, 
Like doesn't take any button presses, no extra equipment, no baggage allowed. It's just straight business. And it's not one of them one time uses either. The manhole can take as many, as many men as you throw at it, you know? Just lets them go on in there deep where it's nice, warm, and safe and wet. It's really the fleshlight of the extract world when you think about it. Uh, Hermetic door? Hermetic door's got some cool spots, but nobody really takes it now that D2's out. So, uh, uh, you can lay in the back of the truck and throw grenades towards the exit. It's pretty solid. For the record, I really don't like a uh, camping factory exit because, uh, you don't really get the drop on someone. You end up just having a gunfight with them. You know, I really don't win those too often. I really got to have the deck stacked entirely in my favor. And uh, you know what Sun Tzu said once? It was, um, every battle is won before the fighting even begins. I think it's safe to say that most of history's greatest military tacticians were probably exit campers. <laughs> Now, my, my personal favorite right now is the new hotspot, the D2 exit on reserve. It's dark, high traffic, people kill raiders and go straight there. I want you to tell me something. When do the hairs on your neck start standing up? Hmm? I would say right about here. That's when you start to listen out for exit campers, right? Yeah, I think I hear something down there at the exit. Someone's drinking pineapple juice down there. That's why I camp all the way back here. This is before they, they you got them with their pants down. They ain't even suspecting anything right here. So I got the strategy. Now I just gotta convince my friends to uh, uh, exit camp with me. Easier said than done. What are the different exits you can camp? <laughs> you fucking scumbag. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> what, 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 what do you walk that one back a little bit? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. It's, uh, you know, I'm not even going to fucking defend myself. Yeah, I'm going to camp an exit. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> I'm not doing shit. I'm not going to help you. Yeah, you are. Are you a Chad or are you a rat? Or what, what's what's the what's the new term for fucking people that camp for medic door? Like an asshole. What's that? A shit bag? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's gonna be the video, not the chat of the red. It's gonna be the, the new class, the, the shit bag. bag. God damn, I am a proud shit bag. I don't care. A new fuck. challenger <laughs> appears. He's gonna get away. Not if I can help it. Got him. Level 41. <laughs> Hell yeah! He was pimped out! RPK! <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna yank his backpack and his, his fucking TV rig. I bet you that guy's fucking pissed. Turns out he was pissed. He was pissed enough to tweet at Aqua, telling Aqua to contain me. Let me tell you something, Aqua can't contain me. Aqua is a weak man with a weak will. I've seen leukemia patients with a higher red blood cell count than he has. Just one. <laughs> Alright, he's dead. Okay. I see what you mean now that nobody pays attention. Dude, look at this shit. I feel like Buffalo Bill from Sounds of the Lambs. When you shoot out the lights, you just- you have so much power over them. It's like a lamb lost in the dark. In these moments, when they walk past you, that's what being a god feels like. Hello, pretty baby. Ryan, look at my monitor. That's me. <laughs> Don't shoot that. Creating the world. Loading the world with data files. You know, it took God four days or something like that to make this shit. Tarkov, on the other hand. God, what was that? Was that four seconds to make the world? Oh, dear Lord. What's wrong with you, man? You're slipping. But you can't check your six. I also watched this cigar maker guy. He's like, he's like 60 years old and he's making cigars. Hand rolling cigars. Yeah, he's hand rolling cigars. And he's like, now you want to stuff this bad boy pretty tight, but don't put too much tobacco in there or else you're going to have yourself a mandingo jawbreaker. <laughs> Dude, I'm having a blast extract camping. 
and uh, Bizzle likened it to fishing, which which is true. It's like uh, it's like yoga, except I still get to kill something. Minor successes aside, I still felt like I wasn't getting all I could get out of extract camping. So I turned to a professional, the only Twitch streamer that dedicates his entire stream to one thing and one thing only: extract camping. His name is Xphil Camper. Dude, this guy's got places you ain't even ever thought of. He's 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 got to like boil down to a science. I'm t watch this clip. Where? Bro, oh what is God. going on? For real, man. man? I can't. Where was that kid? Did you hear that shit? Listen again. Listen to that. Where? Bro, oh what is God. going on? Listen again. Bro, oh what is God. going on? That fucking guy's about to cry. He is on the verge of tears. Name one other strategy that you can implement that can bring a grown man to the verge of fucking tears. I knew for a fact that there was much to learn from this man. So I hit him up and I want you to come on this journey with me. Yeah, that, that's where I've been sitting. I have a spot a thousand times better than that in D2, man. It'll literally blow your mind. There we go, I move oh. forward a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's <laughs> that is the meanest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. I can I can peek the door. You can't even see it. No, it's like not dark. in a million years would you see that. Nope. I mean, like you're there, but like it just because of the highlighted light, I don't think anybody would go. Oh, there's a man. You know. <laughs> I don't even. Think right, peek, you know. I'm Oh yeah. No, yeah. you I wouldn't mean, even one. see your outline. Not in a million years. <laughs> Could you even hit me from there? Oh yeah, I can murder you right now. Jesus. I have like a straight line on your legs. That's dirty. And then potentially good. It's like if you're playing against clueless people, so you hop on the rail there. So like you're not yeah, seeing they, it unless you yeah they really won't see your forward. legs yeah. yeah. But a quick hole in the wall spot. Right here. Oh, do people go through there? Yeah, it's the no backpack exit. Back up a little bit more. There we go. Stand up. And watch a man disappear. What the fuck? And can you see me over here while I'm exiting? Oh, yeah. Where the fuck are you at? I'm in the tree. Do a wiggle. You see me? No, I forgot which tree I put you in. Shoot at me. That is so bullshit. Also, you can lay in the back of that flatbed truck there in the extract. You're going to hop on the wheel on the right side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so if you don't have the extract, you can just lay in there. Can people see me? Nope. This, oh, yeah. <laughs> this one is real dirty. Oh, blue wall. There's a guy sneaking up right now. Oh, really? Oh, I hear him. He's laying down out there. You can just pop up and tap him. That worked. Oh, he's kind of beamed out a little bit. Oh, man. I'm sure he's fucking pissed. Is I can just crouch here and just jump on my head. And then what you'll do is just walk in. Oh, whoops. Oh. There you go. That's like the most simple fix. And you can look to your left and you see all of Rock Passage. Oh, hot dog. Is Someone come up behind me right now. I heard footsteps for sure. An e oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, he's a big bitch. Oh, for real? Yeah. Should, should I talk to him? Yeah, do it, do it, do it. He's crossing. He stopped he stop? dead in his tracks. He's coming back. He's looking for you. He is big as fuck. Talk to him again. Do it one more time. Did I get him? He's running to you, man. Did I get him now? No. Uh-oh, that nade might get me. Nope, it didn't. I'll throw one back. I'm just shooting 100 rounders. Where'd he go? 
He's laying down. Oh, I see him running away. Yeah. Wait, I hear someone running next to me. Uh oh. Got him. All right. <laughs> Where's this guy at again? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's a guy fucking like walked up like under me and was like, "All right, where is he at?" No. Yo, yeah. I had some guy come in the chat and he's like, how do you feel you're ruining people's lives? That's when you say, dude, I thought I was just ruining their game, but now that I know I'm ruining their life, too, that's just... Thanks for making this a whole lot better. Stan? I'm good. That is pretty dirt nasty. That one's... Yeah, sure. That one's pretty bad. This one works pretty well. I can do surgery on my phone while we're doing this. This is the beauty. You can play a game, and what would you yeah, say? You did, you did study, or you did uh, you did I studying, for fun. studying for finals while playing games. I'm fixing a, uh, my cell phone while doing this. Like, I bet you other people when they play, they just play Tarkov. You know? Oh yeah, you can't multitask. They can't if multitask. You don't play like Inspiring stuff. Inspiring stuff. This is what it's all about streamlining, efficiency, uh, cooking ramen while you're also extract camping. It's, it's multitasking. That's what it is. That's what really pisses the people off, too. They play Tarkov, and their one thing is playing Tarkov. And I think they're just so pissed that they're getting killed by a guy that's also studying for finals or fucking whacking off or something. You know? <laughs> that's the nil. You were outclassed by a guy that isn't really paying attention. <laughs> that's the real that's the real kick in the balls. We got a bite. Well, we had to do dress rehearsal. On Thursday. Oh, oh what the hell yeah, I've got to write my script. Yeah. What the hell are you yeah. uh, we're Very doing... serious podcast. Yeah, very serious. They were... Well, we're sending this one uh, to SNL. Oh, my God. Show them how it's done. They don't get to use any of it. No. Just to let them know how poorly it... they're writing yeah. it. <laughs> we're going to pad our credentials. We're going to say, like, like uh, from the writers and creators of... Uh, Dunesburg's journey, like just make up shit that doesn't exist, you know? And they'll be like, wow. Dunesburg's <laughs> journey. I never heard of Dunesburg's journey, but apparently it won several Nebula Awards or you something. Gotta have, I don't know. You gotta have those little reef symbols next to it. Lots yeah, yeah. Of stars. Like Caesar's hat. Oh, yeah. Winston Show. Churchill said, this was the best shit I've seen. <laughs> Hands yeah. down, if you don't see this, you're a retard. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Benet said it was her favorite movie. Oh, she she came home with this cookbook of like serial killers' last meals in prison, <laughs> and she's been cooking them. Oh, right. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. And so like, uh, and so she'll like serve up a dinner, and she'll be like, "Yeah, this is a uh, Dennis Raider's final meal," and he'll be like, "Fucking pancakes and chicken or something." You know, they never have a normal meal, so I've been eating just weird shit. Like, I don't want to eat popsicles for dinner. But we were, like, we are looking them up, and and we got on the topic of John Wayne Gacy. Are you eating his meal tonight? No, we're not. I, I don't even think he's in the book, but I was, like, looking at his <laughs> Wikipedia. Yeah. All right. For those of you that don't know, John Wayne Gacy is a guy that dressed up like a clown and murdered a bunch of kids, right? And he... um. Yeah, uh, serial killers are always known as being like these really handsome, smart people. And John Wayne Gacy, uh, he's just me without glasses. Like, he's just this big fucking fat guy. <laughs> it's not a good look. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's not good. I look like the fucking, one of the most horrible people in in, uh, in history. 
But check this out. Okay, so John Wayne Gacy, he always had these crazy, <laughs> he had these crazy names for things, and I want you to guess what they are. He came up with these crazy like taglines for things, because uh, like what kinds of things? Okay, like, okay, methods, no, like, like like you know, like a limousine is called a limo. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like call a limo because you're not going to be like, hey, call a stretched out vehicle that suits yeah. uh, seats twenty five. You know, so he always had like these shortened down names for stuff. So anyways, uh, under the murder segment, let me look here. Um, okay, so here, here's one. The victims were usually lured alone to his house. Although on approximately three occasions, Gacy had what he called blank, which is two murder victims killed in the same evening. Uh, two for. <laughs> no, it was, it was called doubles. <laughs> that was oh. his- <laughs> That was his ingenious name for that. Okay, so he would get a kid in his house with drink drugs and gain his trust, and then he would produce a pair of handcuffs and show him a magic trick. Sometimes, uh, which was part of his clowning routine, he typically cuffed his own hands behind his back and then released himself with the key, which he had between his fingers. And then he would offer to show the intended victim how to release themselves from handcuffs and when the victim was manacled and unable to free himself, Gacy would then make the statement, the trick is you have to have the key. <laughs> oh, my God. Gacy referred to this act as the handcuff trick. <laughs> really an inventive name. God, I wonder what the, he's going to show me the handcuff trick. I wonder what that is. And by the way, his statement is the equivalent of like, uh, uh, like imagine you're a serial rapist. <laughs> And you go, uh, the trick is, lady, not get raped. <laughs> that's, God, yeah. That's that sounds like, horrifying. Like, it's horrifying, he, but also just stupid. It is the dumbest it is thing. Stupid. It is pretty this dumb. This guy had years to premeditate this shit. His tagline when you get someone in handcuffs is, the trick is you got to have the key. <laughs> <laughs> the handcuffs. And then he honks his nose yeah. and fucking wiggles away. <laughs> My signature move. <laughs> My signature move. It's called the handcuffed. If someone walked up to me and said, "Hey, you want to see the handcuff trick?" Hey, I would say, <laughs> "Hey, you want to see my, you want to see my sodomize your dead body move?" <laughs> not a, not a crowd pleaser. He would tight. Okay, this is how you'd kill him. He would tighten a rope around their neck, and he referred to that act as the rope trick. Just, I'm seeing a pattern. <laughs> yeah, he's seeing a really cool pattern here. And then, and then before he would do it, though, he would always tell them, "This is my last trick." <laughs> oh my god! At this point, like, do they know what's about to happen to them, or are they still just like, "Oh, cool trick"? Like, <laughs> if I heard a fat fucking clown tell me that in his basement. <laughs> As, as the neck's going around there, as their neck is <laughs> close on these go, you suck. <laughs> this drink sucks. <laughs> go, 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 go.